in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a playable metahuman completely from scratch. I mean, like, completely from scratch. We're going to go through creating the metahuman to retarget it to the UE5 skeleton, just like you can see in the background. And we're going to change it from something that looks like this right now that you see on screen into something like this. A real lifelike character with all the functionality of the UE5 skeleton and all the animations to go along with it. Right, okay, so let's get started. What we're going to do, we're going to be creating a new third person project and we're going to rename this. I'm going to rename it Squid Game because that's the character that I want to use. And I'm going to disable the uh, start content. So once that's done and all loaded up, what we need to do is we need to enable the MetaHuman plugin. And I will show you how to do that once we've loaded up. Okay, sweet. So let's just go over to Window and the plugins. For some reason, it already came up when I uh, launched this project, but you know, sweet. And then we're just going to expand this. And we're going to search for the MetaHuman plugin. You might already have this installed and enabled, as I do, if you're on the uh, later versions of Unreal. I think I'm on 5.5 or 5.4. I can't really remember, to be honest. Sweet. So next, we need to either create or import our metahuman so we can go to window go to quixel bridge stay on web close that and then see this little like icon on the left hand side it looks like a like where you'd click like account or something if you just click this the one above the tick here and check you should signed in as long as you signed in you'll be sweet if not create an account and we can either use our own metahuman or we can just create one from scratch so this is how you do it you click on any of these and click start mhc metahuman creator and it'll bring up this website and then we're just going to launch it and this does take a while so just sit back grab a drink or something because it does take a while but for me it does anyway okay sweet so it's looking like we're all loaded up now and basically what you can do here here's my pre-created ones this is going to be the squid games character and if you want you can actually just create your own if you haven't got one already so it's up to you do what you uh, want to do let me just show you how you can actually uh, create your own. If we just go to the left hand side here, click create, select a default character, and then you can just do it that way. It is pretty self explanatory. It's quite easy. And then let's go back to Unreal Engine. And we have two here. And these are my meta humans. And we can change the quality and all this kind of stuff. So I need to download this. This is the one that is clothed. And I have one that's unclothed because what you can do, you can actually change out the clothes. In a, if you edit it in Blender, but we're not going to be getting into that today. We don't really need to do that. But um, for the sake of this video and for the sake of time, I already have the undressed version uh, downloaded. So what I'm going to do is download the clove one in the background, and I'm just going to let this one. Uh, I'm just going to import this one, the unclothed one, into the project. So I'll just skip ahead. Right. Okay. So I've skipped ahead, and I'm just clicking this little blue arrow here to import our MetaHuman into Unreal Engine. And you'll know it's worked if you get this new folder on the left hand side of your content browser uh, that's called MetaHuman. And to get your content browser up, if you don't know already, you can press Control and Space to open that up. So let's just go into this folder and we're going to open up this uh, Blueprint class or just drag it into the map like I do. And this is so we get the prompts on the right hand side. It'll ask you to enable the missing plugins just like this. So just enable them. And you can now restart the editor. So let's just save. And we're just going to open back up this uh, this project. Now I could cut this video down into little bits. And I feel like if I did that it wouldn't be as easy to follow. And I want to show you step by step exactly how you do it. So once we've opened this back up. As you can see this is our meta human. And like I said before. I'm not downloading the uh, clothed one because it takes ages. So we'll just use this one. So let's open up this blueprint class. And this is the BP for my MetaHuman. And we're going to open up the third person character and the BP third person game mode. Because we're going to need, basically we're going to need all of this stuff. So firstly, what we need to do is in the class settings of the Met human, we're going to change the parent class to BP third person character or whichever character is the default in your map at the moment. 
it should be beefy for the first character if you start a new one. So we're going to drag the body onto the mesh, so it parents it, and delete the root because we're not going to need that anymore. So let's compile and we'll get an error and you can see nothing's really happened, but we'll get there. So let's actually just go to the event graph and we're just going to click target where the error is and we're going to drag out our mesh and plug it straight into there. And as you can see, now our metahuman is in the viewport and pops into the viewport. So, so we need to change the rotation for the body. So we're just going to zero these out just like that. And it'll kind of like snap into place. Obviously, we've got no animations or anything yet, but we'll sort that in a second. And I'm just going to change the scale a little bit just so I can actually match it up a little bit better. This is completely unnecessary, but I'm going to see if I can experiment a little bit while we're in this video. That looks kind of alright. Just trying to get the shoulders in place because I know the shoulders mess up. So in the variables tab, we're going to go to live retarget and we're going to enable use live retarget. And right now, it's not doing anything. We still need to do a couple more things. But you see, if we click um, the live link setup and live link setup, no. live retarget setup is what we want and we see this little node here retarget anim class and we just drag this out here and click the folder icon it'll take us straight to this anim class and this is the animation blueprint that's used for the metahumans right so what we need to do here inside this folder we're going to get the ik retarget and we're just going to duplicate this and rename it something that you will remember i'm going to do money to meta because that's what we're doing we're going to change from the Manny skeleton into the metahuman skeleton and we're just going to retarget all these animations and all the bones and stuff like that so let's open up our new one the Manny to meta ik retarget and we can have a little look around and i'll explain kind of what stuff does so we need to change the source ik rig to ik mannequin and we actually need to change the source preview mesh into skm Manny. and if we go back to the metahuman we could actually click the folder icon for the skeleton and we're just going to click this arrow here and it'll give us the exact skeleton that we need so as you can see this has popped into the viewport and it's kind of like in line with our character so see it says m underscore medium underway body that's what that stands for we're going to change this to the preview version just like that and you'll notice the preview one because it has no skin on it okay Next, we're going to click the root, and if you can't see that, make sure you've got chain mapping selected, not the asset browser. And we're just going to change the translation mode to globally scaled. Just like that, and then that'll stop us having any root problems. Because if you don't do this, I'm pretty sure this is what causes all like the sprinting and stuff when the leg's not moving. Click the three dots and edit the retarget pose, just like this. And we're going to go to clavicle, and we're just going to actually rotate this shoulder bone into place just so it fits nicely with our sk mannequin okay and then we're going to change the upper arm just like this and if you want you can change the scale the uh, rotation snapping to five makes it a little bit easier it doesn't have to be perfect move it back a little bit just so it looks like it's kind of inside the uh, sk mannequin and then we're going to go lower arm rotate this 10 degrees or maybe five now on the bone panel on the left we're going to change the other arm so we need to actually find the clavicle underscore r so i'll just type in clav and clavicle underscore r and we're just going to do the exact same thing just try and position it with the sk mannequin and just select now we need the upper arm it is here and rotate that back like 10 degrees 15 maybe and then the lower arm and just move it generally into place the shoulders and the legs should already pretty much be in place by now okay that's pretty good now if your arms are shorter than the sk mannequin this is what you can do just change the blend to source down to zero so we're going to do that for the left arm and for the right arm let me just have a little look and find the right arm and we're also going to change this to zero just like that 
You might not be able to say anything in the viewport, but trust me, it will make a difference later on. Okay, so here we are back in the ABP MetaHuman, and we're going to go into the Anim Graph on the left-hand side by clicking it. And highlight this, the retarget pose from Mesh, and we're just going to change this to the new IK retargeter that we created, the Manny to Meta. Next, we're going to go back into the MetaHuman Blueprint, and we're going to change the Anim class to this one here. And as you can see, our character is now snapped and he's using that live retarget setup. But the shoulders are completely messed up. So we're going to fix that in a minute. This is like a common problem with the, uh, with the arms and the uh, shoulders. So let's go to mesh and we're going to type visible and select that and uncheck visible on the mesh and select always tick pose and refresh bones on the visit visibility based anim tick option just like that now we've got this like kind of hunched look so i think the next thing we're going to do is fix this so let's compile and save so let's go back into the abp metahuman and expand this a little bit and in the content browser we're going to select the ik retargeter again and we're just going to dock this actually here just so we've got the skeleton in one view if you're using two monitors it'll be a lot easier but if not just do it like this and now we can actually change these bones so we need to click the three dots okay so let's click target and we're going to click the three dots edit retarget pose and now we're just going to position the shoulders a little bit differently so here if we just do this as you can see it's changing the actual meta human now when we change the skeleton on this okay so that was just to check it was working so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to click here and click auto align and as you can see on the left hand side this has completely fixed all of our problems the shoulders are looking good the arms are looking good and the animations are working correctly so next what we need to do go into the bp third person character into the event graph copy everything and in here, I'm just going to paste it inside the MetaHuman event graph. Hopefully that made sense. If not, you can just rewind the video. It's pretty simple. And we're just going to position this and put it somewhere nice like that. And we don't really have much to do in it. I'm just going to reposition some of these nodes though to make it a little bit more readable. So let's just delete these two. These aren't being used. And drag this down like that. Sweet. Now, if we go, let's compile. And we're going to go into the BP third person game mode. And we're going to change the default class to your meta human blueprint, which is for me the undressed one. Like that. And if we compile and save, we're looking pretty good. So let's just click play. Position this first. Uh, click play and then see what happens. As you can see. Everything is working correctly, and now we have our MetaHuman with all the SK Mannequin animations. But there's something else that I want to do. I just want to check the IK for the feet. And as you can see, the IK is working correctly because the knee is bending and the foot placement is perfect. Now, as a little bonus tip for everybody who stuck around till the end of this video, I want to show you something cool you can do. So if we open Fab again, as I said before, we had the undressed character and we imported that. In the background, I've been downloading the other character, which is the exact same one, just with clothes on. So if we go to my MetaHumans, this should be downloaded by now, and it is. So we can just import this one with clothes in, like that. X out of this, and now you'll see in the MetaHumans folder, we actually have two now. One's undressed and one's not. So we open up this blueprint and change it to uh, viewport let's just dock this first and you can see the first one has no clothes and this one has clothes so if we go to the one that has clothes on and select body let's just search for this so let's select the legs of the new one with clothes on and click the folder icon and it'll bring us to that and that's highlighted 
And if we scroll down in our new one, with all the animations and the retargeting, we can just click this little icon and it'll add some trousers or some pants. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you want to change this, you can just go and change it on the MetaHuman Creator and import it just like I have. And you can get some new clothes for your MetaHumans. But now let's add a t-shirt. So we're going to go to the torso. And just like that, we have a t-shirt. But I do need the textures for this t-shirt, so, or the materials. So if we go back to the new MetaHuman and we find that, we should be able to add the material for this. Let me just have a little look around. Where is it? There we go. So we select the material from the other one. And now we have clothes on our MetaHuman and it is fully animated. And everything should be working correctly. Now let's click play. And as you can see, it's the exact same as it was before, but now we have clothes. And if you want to add some more functionality to this character, then what you can do is click the video in the top right and that'll take you to another video where I explain how to do that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.